In the first season of One Hour Limit Locked, we set ourselves the challenge to get a fire cape in 45 days while only being able to play for one hour a day. I went 36 minutes overtime on the last day, but we got our cape in the end. The thing is, that was only the warm up. Now, we're really about to start cooking. 60 days are on the clock, 175 quest points are on the menu, 8 council members are in need of a charming knight in shining armour, and I'm the idiot they're getting. Welcome to season 2 of One Hour Limit Locked, it's chef in season baby. Hello again everyone and welcome back, it is day 34 of the second season here, day 80 overall I guess, in our time span, given the fact we took 46 hours on the first season. We are pivoting, I've decided to pivot. Pivot! 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 We will be not doing legends quest this season i have decided and there's a bunch of reasons before i do just want to go into before i dive into this session so legends quest i was always planning to do it because i figured we have to get all the requirements anyway to start it so that we can do the ceramic vase and it gives a bunch of xp that'll be handy however the thing is at this point if we weren't doing legends quest the only skills we'd actually need to train would be thieving and fire making. We need 7 thieving levels and 15 fire making levels which could be potentially boosted. If we were to do legends quest we'd also need to get wood cutting which we don't really have a great way to train at the minute and we'd need to have boosts for like 6, 7 other different skills which could start to add up in price, I don't know. Most of them are probably cheap enough to obtain but yeah it's a lot of invent space to carry around and it's a really long quest the other factor is there's 120,000 experience up for grabs at the end of legends quest but by the time we finished it we only have that thieving and fire making to go for the desert treasure those skills are really easy to train i don't want to waste xp lamps on thieving or fire making ever because we can use those for much more important stuff stuff that's really hard for us to train on this account given the time limits so i'm gonna save legends quest i'm not gonna do any more of it i don't think i am gonna pivot which means we need two more quest points from elsewhere and i have figured out where to get those from while also unlocking ourselves access to a better woodcutting method for when we do eventually do legends quest in season three so that's where i'm at the minute we are going to be working on thieving and fire making to get towards desert treasure and i'm going to be getting two quest points hopefully today to help us in those directions uh, and unlock some new content first of course we're going to finish off that pesky singular bird house and reset the rest of the run so if we run over here we've got a dig site charge still so i'm actually going to dig site charge straight to Fossil Island again, rather than running back up to that tree, it'll be quicker. Oh, there's 53 Hunter coming in at the start of the day. Nice little level to get us going. Oh shit, why did I run down here? I'm so stupid. I went on autopilot mode there. Ran down to the one that started off on. Fuck me. Okay, I want to change up my rune pouch, because we want our Alks, I think. Get rid of the rest of this shit. I don't think we really need all for this, so we'll just get our dart stack and stamps and energies. All right, Varrock Center. We want these right there. It's time to explore Valamore, everybody. Time to follow this not all suspicious guy. I did not have quest markers when I was last doing this. I actually had to do these quests. Oh my god, are they all going to be in quest alpha now? Knows the fuck out of me that he goes around in a circle and he could have just cut through there, but... Oh my gosh, I could have been alking all my doing. I don't think I've woken up properly today yet. I've only been up for like an hour. Okay, back to the square. 
Oh my gosh. It even marks the guards for me. I remember having to manually find them. There's a lot of dialogue in the quests that we're doing today, which is annoying, but... And there is the first one done. Okay. Time to actually go to Valmore. We are now just four quest points away from being able to fight the final boss, including Desert Treasure. The reason I decided to do these couple of quests, not just because I want to unlock Valamore, which I do, but because it gives a little bit of Thieving XP. We actually get 3k Thieving XP from that, which isn't too much, but, you know, it's very quick, easy quests to do. They're just a bit of running around, but with Quest Helper, it should be uh, even simpler. Oh, why did I just stun when I already had stun? I'm dumb. Yeah, these, these quests should be real easy when I'm... Like, I remember them taking a couple hours, but now I'm thinking about it, that's because I was actually figure, figuring things out, not just following Quest Helper. Plus, I've already done these quests before once now, so that helps too. Now, we are going to need some combat gear at the end of this quest, but I'll just get that before. But yeah, now we have access to Valamore, we actually have access to a good spot to cut teak trees. Because there's six of them just south of here at the Locus Oasis. So we'll be able to make use of that next season to get the requirement for legends when we do actually want to do it i sort of half explained that like i don't want to use the lamps on thieving or fire making but the thing is i don't really know where i want them to go yet because i don't know exactly what i'm gonna need i haven't planned out the next season you know when i planned out this one there was so much to do they were like a hundred different rows in a spreadsheet, and I'm sure they'll pro probably be for the next season as well, once I uh, get to work planning it. But I don't know what they're going to be, and I don't know what gaps we're going to need to fill with lamps. So, oh wow, I got on first try. It took me ages the first time. Maybe it's because I was pickpocketing the wrong people the first time, but who knows. So yeah, I want to get the, I want to get season three, like, mapped out so I can figure out what I actually want to spend those lamps on. More than likely, it'll end up going on something like agility, but you never know. And we have access to the Colosseum now. I don't think I could actually do any of it yet, but once we've done Desert Treasure and we have Ancients, we could probably farm the first wave pretty reliably. As long as we have Ice Burst, I don't know what level it actually unlocks. Oh, I've got to get this prick to fall me. No, we cannot have a break. She definitely just threw up in that fountain. Oh shit, boy, we are actually going into the Colosseum. Wait, we need two attack styles for this, don't we? We should go bank. Shit, what attack styles? <laughs> I guess we go... Uh... No, we go Combat Bracelet. So that's Molly style. Oh, the ring gloves are actually better than the Combat Bracelet. I'm done. Okay, I think we should be absolutely fine with this. Probably over-preparing, to be honest, but... Figured if I just geared up now, then I wouldn't have to gear up again at the end of the quest. Even though we'll have... Let's wait. Why is... Why, why am I not attacking? What the fuck? Attack! What What the fuck? Why won't my Ibans fire? I don't understand why my Ibans won't work. What the fuck? Can you not auto-cast on this guy? So weird. No, I lost my rune arrow. Okay, back to the palace. But yeah, I'm gonna keep this stuff with me. Suppose I don't actually need two sets of combat gear. I can just get away with one. So I'll take the mage because it's probably lighter out of the two. Plus, we can keep Falcon. The fact we don't need the lava stuff because we've got fire runes. Getting towards the end of this one. Hello, Rido. Time to feed you. Good burb. There you are, give a little stroke on the head. If anyone wants a quick summary of the Valamor questline, the Tullius twins are the bad guys, the king and the prince are too fucking stupid to realise. That's basically it. They refuse to be anything more than idiots. Okay, time to kill the callists. I mean, this is more like it compared to yesterday when I was fucking splashing on that dragon. Like, this is more what I would expect our DPS to look like with this thing. Okay, now I'm splashing again. Although, I still don't think I've hit anything bigger than a 10 yet. Well, there's a 20. I'll take it. Oh, look, the king's dead. Well, at least he can't be stupid now. He's dead. 
Hopefully the prince dies soon too, and then we'll have no more stupid people. There is 3,000 thieving XP and a level to boot. Right. We have all the quest points we need for now. I am going to go do some more thieving. Or should I do some fire making for a bit? Shall I make some fires? Is that, is that going to be chill? No, I'm going to go do the thieving. Right, we want a war rune. We want an earth rune. We want an air rune. Boots of lightness. Just whatever random food I have. Okay, I'll just take bits. Fucking fish cakes. Okay, that'll have to do. Right, time to find a level 41 bandit. Come with me, my friend. We are just going to walk into this shop right here. Better look next time, buddy. This one's mine. I didn't bring my blackjack! It's cool, I've already lured him. He's pre-lured. Pre-lured. Yes, he's still there. Hopefully that woman being there as well doesn't make it. Oh, she's gone. Perfect. Now rate should be better today, because we just gained a level as well, didn't we? So, plus we had the level gained yesterday. So yeah, originally I was going to do this all the way to 53, but now that we have Valamor unlocked, I think I'm going to do it to... Uh, just to 50 and then go do the wealthy citizens because I've obviously I've never had An opportunity to train on the wealthy citizens when it's actually like on on level You know I did a, a little tiny bit of it when Valamor came out on my main, but that's not really I wasn't like actually trying to train. I was just checking out what it was So it'd be interesting to see how it is when we're doing it on level Maybe we can get there today, who knows. I'm not too confident because this rate's terrible at the minute. And it just keeps going for pickpockets when I'm clicking knockout, it's very annoying. Oh my gosh, I got a genie. Let's fucking go. I actually got a genie. That's the first one we've had. On the account that wasn't after my time had already run out and I couldn't accept it. Okay, I'm gonna have to go and get some food here. Where's the bank note, man? Down here. Oh my gosh, what do we want to put this lamp on? Fuck! I don't actually know! <laughs> what the hell? What do we put a lamp on now? I'm gonna go, I'm just gonna go agility. It's just the safest option. There's a thieving level. 48. Hopefully that means we can get a bit better success rate on these. It is better than it was yesterday, but still not, you know... Ideal. Although it does feel like it's improved, actually, with that change from 47 to 48. Yeah, it's definitely improved with 47 to 48. I don't know why, but there's a huge jump there in success rate between levels 47 and 48 for succeeding to knock out this bandit. The difference between 47 and 48 is actually wild. It feels like before it was like... 30% chance of success, 70% chance of getting twatted, and now it feels like that's flipped to 70-30, so... Or, you know, like, I'm just, just pulling numbers out of my ass, but... That's how it felt. There's 49 thieving. Just one more level to go till we can actually try our hand at the Valamor thieving methods. Don't think we'll have much time for it today, mind, but might be able to get into one person's house. Who knows?
Oh, come on, I even used my redemption so that I could, didn't have to go get food. Please let me get this. Let's go. See you later, bud. Alright, 50 thieving unlocked. Almost time for a birdhouse run. I believe there's some sort of thieving gloves. What are they called? Gloves of silence? Oh, you need 54 hunter. Which we almost have! <laughs> okay, interesting. Uh, right. We want birdhouse stuff first. Go get that done, and then we should be able to go chill in Valmore for a little bit. Whew, after all that click intensive blackjacking, I'm kind of excited at the prospect of going to Valmore clicking a wealthy citizen and having it all a pickpocket for me. Not having to, to click would be nice for like, I don't know, <laughs> the next seven minutes. <laughs> cool, birdhouse is all done. Uh, I might as well get a quick reset. In fact, I think I'm just gonna keep the stuff with me for a birdhouse run in the morning, not in the morning, but whenever I next play. Tomorrow. There's no reason not to just carry it with us. That'll save me some time tomorrow. Over to Fortis. Yeah, we don't really need the invent space for this. So. Alright, so we have to find a kid who's distracting someone. Uh, should we tag all the wealthy citizens? That might make it easy. Check out these moves. Here we go. Oh, look at that. It's so beautiful. It's actually good XP as well. It's bigger than the last one that, like, they were 65 apiece, and, you know, you have to obviously have it be distracted to get this, but... Oh, I stopped. I'm guessing there'll be another one somewhere nearby. Surely you don't actually have to wait. Well, that's not good. Is there another area where they wander around? It'd be cool if you could pay the kids to distract them. Because otherwise I'm just going to be failing, right? I've been robbed. Here we go. It is proper nice when that happens. Okay. Looks like there's three hot spots here, down there, and then apparently over here east. Yep. There are some more over here. Just two. So maybe I wanna try and keep an eye on all of them. I don't know. This one's a bit far away. I think standing between these two is probably the shout. Oh my gosh, here we go. I haven't had a house key yet though. Oh, <laughs> just as I say it. Okay, someone's home there. Someone's home there. Don't know if we really have time for this, but that's not a house you can rob. Okay. Okay, yeah, we're in our first house. Is this auto? Oh, I think it is. Oh. Homeowners coming back. That did not take long. Well, there was our first house. Let's talk to this dodgy character. Trading. 550 coins. Wow. You know what? We're right next to a bank. Let's just uh, get ourselves some stamp. I like all this walking around business. Well, that is going to be pretty much it for today, folks. Just going to see if I can find one more wealthy citizen to pickpocket, perhaps. Does not appear to be any options right now. Oh, just at the end. Yeah, I can't take that one. But we got a key! <laughs> we did just get a key. Okay, it's interesting. All right, so I think tomorrow I'm gonna do some more of this. It might not be as good as the blackjacking, but I wanna try it for a little bit more first before I figure it out and see. Pet the dog. There we go. Uh, but yeah, it's been a pretty solid day. We got 48,000 XP, 7,000 on the Hunter, about the same on the Magic, and then mostly it was this 33k in Thieving. Gone all the way up to level 50 from, I believe, 46. Yes, all the way up to 50. Big, big jump there. Very nice to see. We do still need to work on our fire making as well. We need 15 levels there, but fire making is such a quick skill. I mean, let's just have a look over here. If 
we were trying to get to level 50, we would need to burn 700 logs. That is actually quite a lot. But to be fair, we go to 42, which is 200 teak logs, and then from 42 to 45, we do 128 pine logs, and then from 45 to 50, we do 300. It's about 600 logs. It's not like, it's probably like one session to be fair. Like one session worth of fire making. So yeah, we've maybe got a day left of thieving, a day left of fire making, and then we can do desert treasure. Uh, after desert treasure, it's the final boss turn. We're almost there, folks. We are almost there. The list is very small right now. We need to get 53 thieving, 50 fire making. That's basically it. If you enjoyed the episode, please do leave a like on the video. It helps out a ton, pushes me into the algorithm, and it lets me know that people are enjoying the content I'm making so that I keep making it. Make sure you leave a comment down below as well. Let me know how you've been enjoying this season, and if you're looking forward to the next one, if you want to see me go on to do a raid, that is what I'm thinking of doing for the next season. Complete one raid. Let me know what you think of that. Hit that subscribe button as well so you don't miss any of the future content as it drops. And other than that, look after yourselves. Be lovely to one another. I will see you on the next one.